Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the channel, current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, technologies, and items of interest that allow us to have a moment to have a little bit of a dialogue and a departure from the content that is here on the channel. If this is your first time here, I'd like to welcome you here and encourage you to click on that uh, watermark down there in the bottom right hand corner and make yourselves available to the content that's here on the channel. Three weeks ago here on the channel, we talked about John Bain or Total Biscuit, who had reached a point in his cancer that he was at the quality of life stage. We found out last Thursday after the Friday Vlog recording that he had passed away. Now, for many of us who are in the gaming community and those who are pursuing gaming on these platforms across social media, Total Biscuit was a great inspiration to us all and fortunately for us, he still has a lot of his content that will remain online to inspire future gamers, critics, commentators, and reviewers who are interested in the gaming community. Another individual that we have talked about here on the channel about three and a half weeks ago was Tommy Robinson, and he's back in the news because on Friday, he was arrested while live streaming outside of a courtroom. Now, he normally organizes with his team to ensure that where they're gonna be filming, recording, or having any kind of activity is gonna be safe and compliant with ordinances and with the authorities. He even checked with the authorities while he was outside the courtroom and there was no particular issue. Now, if you watch any of the video, then you can see that there really wasn't a lot of people around and uh, even an individual who was walking by, he may happened to just stop and talk with the guy for a few moments and the guy simply said well you know it wasn't his concern and Tommy you know, was uh, being uh, emphatic about the fact that this was part of the problem is that people were kind of indifferent or uh, it was no particular concern of theirs that this activity was going on and that's basically what Tommy does is he raises awareness about activity that happens with these particular gangs these particular immigrants refugees but uh, more specifically, the focus is uh, typically around the Muslim community, which is why a lot of this activity is uh, quite volatile and uh, why he is often described as a far right wing agitator. So essentially what happened was, so as he was covering this trial, you do see some of the alleged suspects getting out of their vehicle and approaching uh, the courtroom. And he does have a little bit of an exchange with them, but nothing that you wouldn't see typically happen with uh, reporters or any other individuals in the media. This happens all the time here in the States. So apparently shortly after that had happened, he was actually arrested. Uh, by the very judge who was conducting this trial, which was very unusual. And not only that, but um, he was uh, arraigned and sentenced within several hours, within just a short period of time, he was already looking at 13 months. Now, from what we gather now, um, later in the trial, from uh, Kalen, his, well, his manager and, and person that was there with him, uh, was that the judge, uh, said that um, he was disturbing the peace. It, it didn't matter that he had a, he was on a suspended three month sentence, which he was on for, um, for a previous offense. That previous sentence being a contempt of court that he had suspended. So basically what happened also along with that was that there was a gag order across all of media, not even Breitbart that's stationed there in the UK was able to put out any type of content for fear of being arrested as well. So here we are in a first world country that is exercising such a level of censorship that when we would talk about this in the past about we'd get to a day perhaps where governments would be shutting everyone down for fear of what a particular party or a particular group may think. So here we are. 2018 and their censorship in the United Kingdom. Now there's been a lot of developing stories after this now that it's been lifted and we're learning more and more about it. So maybe this judge stepped over the bounds quite a bit there. Now I'm not sure how the authorities or the legal system is going to handle maybe even what this judge did because that was incredibly Orwellian for this to happen. I mean, for us to witness this in 2018 was quite extraordinary. So we'll continue to follow the story and see what's going on with Tommy. He is still uh, imprisoned as of now. We're still learning and things are still developing. In this next segment, as we change a little bit of the pace here in the Friday Vlog, I wanted to talk about uh, something that isn't unusual or isn't anything new, and that is uh, 
post-apocalyptic and or doomsday bunkers. Now, these have been floating around in the news lately because uh, apparently a lot of very wealthy individuals, many billionaires, are now making these very posh, very luxurious <laughs> bunkers uh, to prepare for any type of catastrophe, I guess, that can happen. Now, you'd have to think, well, this is gonna have to be either somewhere near where they live or they're gonna have to be living in these facilities because um, how are you gonna get there if there is some sort of catastrophe? You know, we see this even in storms and things that happen here in the US or, or even what's going on there in Hawaii with uh, the volcano eruptions and stuff. I mean, uh, you know, the idea here being, hey, yeah, you have this nice posh <laughs> facility here, but how are you gonna get to it? I think this is just one of those survival things. This is just one of those things that individuals can do for the sake of just doing it uh, in preparation for what can happen. But obviously, if a catastrophe happens, I mean, there's all sorts of things, all sorts of activity that can happen that you can't anticipate. But I just thought it was kind of amusing to see that uh, it's reached to this level across the entire world. Uh, all these particular facilities. I mean, if you got the money, I guess, hey, you know, your business, you can do what you want. And that's gonna wrap up uh, this uh, Friday vlog. So I wanna thank all you guys for your participation. And the Friday vlogs seem to be doing quite well. So thank you for all those who have participated, those who have subscribed and are continuing to support the channel as a lot of really strange and bizarre things are going on with YouTube currently. So your support is always appreciated. And be sure if you haven't already, you click on that uh, channel icon watermark you see appearing on the screen now to subscribe. That way you guys will have all the content that is released here on the channel, as well as the Friday vlog. And I will see you guys next Friday.